Welcome back, Achievers. It's like stepping your foot into a glass slipper again. Yes, it is I, Elijah, coming at you with your daily... Hmm? More weekly, I guess. Depends on how you listen to it. Let's say weekly. Let's stay safe and say weekly. You, I guess you could listen to the episodes over and over again and make it daily <laughs> content. But this is more of a weekly content show. Yes, this is the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast where we discuss the previous week in gaming. Maybe go over a topic too. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah. Sitting across to me, as always, virtually through the cosmos is Alex. As my good friend Joey Trib. Tribbiani said. Oh. How you doing? Oh! Tribia- Tribbiani? Tribi- Tribbiani. Tribbiani. It's, it's, it's a good old friend from Friends. Friends. Whatever happened to predictability? Is that, is that, that the same right thing? One. Is that mm-hmm. that one? I mean, if you consider for House Friends, sure. I do. Personally, then, uh, yes, yeah. I do. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. For, <laughs> is that your favorite sitcom show, Alex? Friends? Friends, yeah, and you know it, it. It didn't used to be. It, I honestly, I think it used to be Full House because I remember I'd be just sitting in my room trying to find something on TV when you still have the whole, you know, cable, and you see Nick and Knight pop Fuck's up, that. And, and you just see, yeah, right, <laughs> and then you, you just see it, you just see it pop on, you see Full House, I'm like, all right, go for it, and then you know, late night after that's the Cro- the Cros- Bill Cosby show. Who remember the Bill Cosby show? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wow wow um, we just mm-hmm. Whew, mm-hmm. talk about something that you're not supposed to pretend like you liked Woo! we gotta i mean i gotta pretend yeah. like that wasn't a part of my life now <laughs> i mean bill cosby going house. up there skadooting skadatting talking about pudding yep. takes on a whole new meeting now it's awful jesus <laughs> but yeah i my wife got me really into friends and i honestly i think it's it's up there as being my favorite sitcom you know, I, I, I'm going to say it, and I'm getting a little angry here, Alex. Uh-oh, uh-oh. These sitcom stars have to stop coming out to be sexual predators. They have to stop. We got Dude, Bill Cosby. With that 70s show is now ruined for me, which is great. That's yep, awesome. Hyde. Most likely the guy who played well, Stephen Hyde. Isn't that what you just said, right? Yes. yes it, most likely this dude is a sexual predator now. I can't watch that without thinking of that the whole time. That, yep. He was literally my favorite character. <laughs> now I can't even like enjoy it because I know he's some pre- he's been predating all over the place. It's predating. very frustrating. I like, I like that word. Predating, yeah, yeah. We oh. predated a little yeah. in yeah in uh, yeah. a predator hunting grounds. That was fun. Mm-hmm. We need to go back. Very different type of predating. Moving we on, to, check we need us to go back. And- yeah, yeah, we do need to go back. We need to go back. As uh, the famous quote from Lost, we have to go back, Kate. Yep. We have to go back! Stellar acting. We need to rewatch that. Yeah, I do. We do. We need to do a podcast called uh, Lost in Translation. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's that's I think a different show, but <laughs> we can call it that. <laughs> yeah. And just do a do what would it be? Would would we do every season and then a podcast or like every three episodes? Hmm. There's a lot of episodes hmm. in Lost. I think people forget it's 24 episodes a season. Oh no, for sure. There's a lot. That's going a lot. On that that's show. that's a lot. That's a lot. a lot. You could like on. cut it in half and do every 12, maybe. Maybe. I think there's that too many be... to do an episode per. No, for sure. But you could if you really wanted to. And it's some mean, of the episodes obviously are stinkers, of course. Yeah, I mean, you can binge it. Like, I've been binging Netflix, so. Yeah, you could definitely binge Lost. I, my favorite episode is the ending of season five, I think it is. Ooh, ending where of the season. I think, it, I think it is. I think it's when they're, um, like, it's, it's like everything's leading up to one moment. The people get caught mm. by the others. Mm. And then they mm. find out that there's that weird science station underneath the ground i don't know it's so layered 
I got you. Oh, but we're not a lost podcast. Not yet. Not yet. We're not a lost podcast no. yet. No, we are a gaming podcast, and we come out every single Friday to every single free feed you can possibly imagine. You can check us out on every single one of them. And don't worry, you can support us there too. You can give us five stars. You can like us on all these platforms. You can comment and give us the watch time. That helps us out tremendously. Keeps us doing what you want us to do. And if you want to support us even more, don't worry. I have options for you. You can go over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. You can give us the buck that gives you an exclusive every single month that's even more content plus a little more dollars that gives you everything early before anyone else will ever hear it to your sexy ears. That's right. I just hit on your ears. Ooh. Call me later. Call me later. Check us out on our socials. If you don't like our opinions, you can scream at us. Twitter at EVM9000 at Crazy Slipskater. We have some news this week. <coughs> new, new, new news. We, we get, <laughs> I like that. We got EA Play that happened. We have Cyberpunk unfortunately getting delayed yet again. And more Spider-Man Miles Morales news. But before I get into that, Alex, I would like mm. a question answered by your face. Mm, by my face? Yes, and it would by be what have you been playing? Mm. So... Let's see. I finished Mafia 2. Oh! Yes. I finished it on hard. It was not that hard. It was actually really fun. I'm glad I went back to it. It was That's so good. much fun. That's good. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, there'll be some, you know, there'll be... It, I enjoy how weird the AI for these cops are in this game. <laughs> no, like, you say, I, do you say I, weird or bad? Oh... It's, I'm not trying to say it's bad because you know it's a game. You know how it's it's not it's not a bad game. So like I don't want to make it sound like you know it's it's bad. Like you know there's something wrong with it. Right. But it's 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 funny and weird that they made it to where you you know you drive five feet up the road and they start losing you. <laughs> so I'm like I mean it's pretty funny, but like hey, I give it to them. I mean, Within ten good. seconds, you have lost the police. <laughs> oh for sure, yeah. They probably have the worst copping mechanic in a video game, um, yeah. which is like, yeah. which is funny because is it, because it's so frequent. I don't care though, mm-hmm. because like literally yeah. you'll get cops like five times on your way to oh, to a thing sure, because every every time they're, they're like, oh he's speeding, it's like oh it's one of those games. That's but like then you the literally lose them before you, you you literally turn a corner and and they're like oh i guess he's gone <laughs> well, I, I enjoyed kind of this one because i forgot that like there's a while you're driving and stuff and let's say you're shooting there's a, a wanted thing like not just the stars but it also shows like a picture like of uh, of your you like with the, you know that they pull up the numbers saying you're wanted um and or and if you're driving it shows the license plate so if anybody any cops see if you drive by a cop that's right I, I remember that yeah so or if they see your face the thing the, the blue bar starts going up and saying that you're about to uh, get caught so i'm like i actually enjoy that because not a, i don't think a, other games do that because i know gta doesn't do that and i don't think la noir does that yeah no i it's it's not super common in Illinois. You're a cop, so I would hope cops wouldn't go after you. But that's they, a good point. They that, do. That, that's a good point. No, they do though. Um, but uh, you know, it's a good time. I like the. Um, yeah, it was fun. I like the system of the police and how they work in that game. Mm-hmm, um, for sure. I need to go back to it just simply to finish the game and get the achievements because I feel like yes. it's a good achievement game. I yes, Alex so. was uh, playing Crash Bandicoot. Um, I probably haven't played this game in 15 years, <laughs> probably. Yeah, probably, close, probably, probably a little more, honestly. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but I, I, I picked it back up, played Crash Bandicoot one, and beat it. Had a great oh, time. Boy. Had a great time. Yeah. That was fun. And I'm on Crash That's Bandicoot good. two now. These are fun games, and I, you know, it's one of those things. They were actually on sale as part of a big sale that was happening. Um, mm-hmm. I got Crash and Spyro for like super cheap, and playing mm-hmm. through these. Having a good time. I I love the 3D platformer. I'm not huge into platforming games, so um, yeah. these are just one of the rare occasions that they're so good that I just enjoy myself. But yeah. um, uh, uh, achievements in Crash Bandicoot One, fantastic. I literally just play the game and get most of them. It's really nice. And then I'm doing the same thing with Crash Bandicoot Two. Hopefully, mm. I get through three, and then I can get Spyro and do the same thing. Um, but Alex, 
we're ignoring a very important part of this. Now, this will be the last Easy Achievers gaming podcast. Oh, man. Until Last of Us Part 2. We are recording this, just oh. so you know, on a Thursday. Before. So it's the day before, and tomorrow we will have our hands on it. So uh, yes. tomorrow we will have the game, and we will be playing it until our eyes bleed substantially. And- Tell, tell tell the audience which which one we got, sir. We got the collector's edition. Both of us did. Yes, we did. And I'm very excited had, to open that thing up. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I was really tempted on getting the, the Ellie edition. Me too. Just if... because I wanted I wanted that bag. But then I looked at my closet, and I looked at the, I have five different bags, five different uh, collector's editions. Oh I don't need any I'm sure the audience, uh, the achievers will get to know you, but to me, that's not surprising at all. <laughs> no, for sure. Like to to everyone listening, is like, oh, that's a lot of bags. To me, it's like I, mean, eh, I thought more. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, disappointed. I have the Spider PS4 Spider Man bag. <laughs> I have the Destiny Two Collector's Edition bag. Yep. I have a Nintendo bag, which is not Collector's Edition, but like I have so many bags. My wife was like, "What? Why do you have so many bags?" Are you like? Are you traveling? Are you traveling? Like, <laughs> she's yeah, trying to. She's trying I to wanna... suss you out. Like she's like, where Where are you going with all these bags? <laughs> where like, do you plan I'm on leaving? Tempted. I'm tempted to be like like go all Animal Crossing in my office now, now and just hang all the bags up. Just just hang them up on the mm-hmm. wall like like posters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not a terrible idea. That's everybody. Yeah. And then you can also point to them and be like, "Look, I'm one. I'm I'm one bag away from leaving." kind of kind of like threaten her how's that oh, sound oh oh, oh. <laughs> that, won't, that won't slide no 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 it won't it won't i'm in the similar stand though i looked at that ellie edition if i had i think looked at it closer mm-hmm. before launch i would have probably gotten it because i want mm-hmm. that lit i want the actual yeah. record in it I, I, that's what i want that's that that's the other thing but i'm like i looked at the record and i'm like i don't have a record player and then i looked at my wife and i was like can we get a record player and he, she was like uh, no, I'm so I'm so lame. I want a I want a record. I think we ha- actually oh, have. One. I think Rebecca has had one. I just haven't used it, but I want it just to have the option to play it. You know what I mean? For sure. I'm one of those guys. Man. Well, I've heard they sound like good or better. I don't. Know yeah, what, what no. I be. think I've heard from the music enthusiasms out there that mm-hmm. that is the best mm-hmm. way to listen. I don't know if it's a giant joke, but so far. That's what that's what I hear. I, I don't know if that's true or if, or if mm. there's just one of those things where it's like, yeah, it's kind of true, but um, I want to I want to try it. Yeah, I don't want to fall into that. I w- I would want to get all the other ones. Like I know there was one I think for Fallout Four, or I think it was there's some one one of the Fallout games. There's a God of War one I want. Yes. Oh my God, I want that one. It's like thirty but I was like, bucks. Then I would have to get all. Of- yeah. It's another thing to get too. It's like, well, yes. Now I want I this. I'm already. <laughs> I'm saving for enough stuff. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Now, that's basically everything we've played. Alex, you got anything else to tell you on it? I don't. I don't have anything. I don't believe. I'm cracking um, my head right I now mean, as we talk. We were. Th- I think we were thinking about going back to Destiny, and uh, we we actually are still playing Apex. Yeah. Uh, still. Because- still Apex. We're getting that event. We'll get into that in a second. Yes, um, we but Destiny. Yes. Uh, I am considering dipping my toe back into the sweet sweet mistress that is destiny um it it's it's terrifying if i'm being honest um just knowing what i have to go back to and knowing where it is and being like ah i have this much content to play do i want to make the jump back again obviously this will have to be after i plan on last of us part two <clears throat> yeah, I think I think for sure it'll be after Last of Us Part Two. If I do play yeah. Destiny Two again, of course, um, I'll need to platinum Last of Us Part Two before I even think about that game. Are you gonna try to platinum it? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I already know um, Greg Miller from Kind of Funny Games um, uh, platinum it. Yeah, I, Ooh, I, I could for sure platinum this game. You yeah. could do it in two play. Th- I, no spoilers. No, I don't even know spoilers. Okay. You, yes. I know you can platinum it in two playthroughs. I think if you Ooh, you like, if you grab your like, if if you really dedicate it, I'm pretty sure you can do it mm-hmm. in one. But you know, I'm assuming there's collectibles. You if you just go through, if you go through the first playthrough and get collectibles, if there is such a thing. Yeah, there are collectibles. Um, um, okay. I I don't want to. I don't know how 
radio silent people are. So I don't want to go into too much more. Yeah, I don't no, even sure. honestly like, I know much. I, I just know I just know I assume, that there are collectibles. Yeah. No, um, that's what I assume. Because the first game had them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The first game had it. I assume the second one has them. So yeah. if there is such a thing of a collectibles list, I mean, I guess you can get them. I just hope there's n- any there's not anything that's uh, missable. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't know what he went back for, um, because I've been Maybe. going away from spoilers myself, so yeah. I, I'm I can't even really speak to what he missed. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm not sure, but hopefully it's an easy plat. Yeah. I, it seems like an easy plat. He got it pretty quick. Um, he's had it for, yeah. I want to say two weeks. So okay, that's probably on and off playing. I feel like I can get this plat in about a week if I really dedicate Ooh. the time. Yeah. Enough not as that. fast for me but i'm gonna try yeah i think you i think you'll get it too it's just gonna take time mm-hmm. oh, but enough sure. enough of that let's get let's get to ea play that this is an event that happened yeah. today as of recording um this is a big event and uh this it's gonna end very fun but but before we get into the yes. fun bits let's start at the beginning apex legends had a quick snippet at the very beginning showing off have they where they've been we're in season five now and um they uh the first new thing they asked was the lost treasures event coming june 23rd that's very soon so that's tuesday um so tuesday we're getting a full event uh it didn't really i can't really tell what the event was if i'm being honest looks like um, just cosmetics and a new mode but i couldn't tell what the mode was alex yeah you, did you i see think it? from what i saw the lost treasures it's something to do with crypto. Like I think he has his own area now, kind of like uh, how Bloodhound had with yeah. the the trials. Mm-hmm. Lots, similar... lots of updates it seems. So crypto's yes, drone sure. talks now, which is very new. Yes, that That's does not cool. happen. Like that. that yeah, that is very cool and it makes crypto much more com- compelling. And yes. my girl, my my girl, my original main lifeline is getting a buff mm-hmm. now. It looks like yes. Now, oh my god, I saw that revive. So. I can drop my revive drone to and actual revive without me reviving them now, which is that dope. That is amazing. Second, it looks like my ult is a respawn beacon. So, so whenever a, someone a, dies, I can drop mm-hmm. my ult and immediately respawn them there. Okay, because I know there's a, a mode or there's these new things to where... Instead, there's a, yeah, the new mode is to where there's no respawn beacons anywhere in the map, but you have portable respawn beacons, and you you put them uh, down on the floor. And there's a red thing. So I was mistaken. Beacon. Okay, so that's a mode. That's not yes, lifeline's ability. Mode. It's uh, it's it's not called lost treasure, but I forget what the mode is called. Um, but yeah, no, it's a it's a mode that has to do with the new event, and um, okay, there, it's a uh, oh god, uh, what was it? I think yeah, there's no, there's no uh, respawn beacons, and there was something else to it. I just can't remember what it was. Okay, you, if you'd like, you oh, can look. They're that all, up. all evo shields. It's all evo. Oh. Sh- everybody has, everybody has evo shields, and nobody can respawn with respawn beacons. But there is a portable one, so you can actually, uh, put if you have a portable one, or if if you find one, you can put it anywhere and at any time. You would just be part of your inventory. Got it. Okay, that sounds cool. Yeah, for sure. And they also ended that with crossplay and a version on Nintendo Switch is coming out this fall. Very exciting. No oh, dates announced, crazy. but they yeah, they announced crossplay will become a thing in Apex Legends. You can play with anyone on any platform, Origin, Steam, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Um, mm-hmm. Again, no dates for any of these things, but that's exciting. Incredibly exciting that we're getting all that. So that will be news to all of us when that eventually comes out. Yeah, it's crazy that it's going to run on Switch. Yeah, it is crazy. I'm excited to. It, it'll be like in Fortnite where I'm like, yeah, I get to play against Switch people, get to smack them, yep. get to smack them hey, up. Yep. <laughs> hey, yep. I was about to say, we'll play on Switch and people are get not going to get these wins. Fortnite. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, and it'll be cool just to play. I, uh, and I'm assuming cross progression if you can cross play. Oh, um, I would hope. Meaning I can play on my PlayStation and get the XP, which matters there, and I can get my oh, XP right. on Switch or what, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. Yeah, for sure. Um, Sims 4 had a small thing. Uh, it was a very come together, you know, pretty beautiful ad that they had. Uh, nothing much yeah. from them other than they're coming to Steam. Um, and then yeah. they're doing a Command and Cocker remaster, which yep. is cool. I really like those games on the 360, so I'm curious if. Um... Never tried them. I, I just never been a strategy person. Um, the closest strategy thing I've played was Halo, uh, Halo um, Wars. Yeah. And I really like that one. And I was gonna try. I was gonna try 
um what's the one that blizzard makes starcraft ah. and starcraft 2 and i was gonna try it but it's just it looks like there's so much going that's, on and that's like, one of those games that i hear so much I about but i'm intimidated to play exactly exactly you know what I mean? like there's just so much around the game where i'm like do i do, does the, do i play this or does the game play me like i, I don't know at this point yeah exactly um and i'll be honest with everyone listening alex maybe can help me here i get i'm getting hazy with this <laughs> so we got oh, zoink dude. ea original game <laughs> I don't I, know what I, that is. I was a little confused with the next two. Zoink, it looks like it was two guys like making a game and honestly I have no idea what it was about. Like I lost track of what was going on. Um if you could do me a favor, Alex, and look I'm up trying. these this conference That's and see thing. if there are breakdowns for these two games. Um and then there was Haze Light again. Mm-hmm. Pay you and can pay both- me money. I remember one of these games where um no that was Rocket Arena. Rocket Arena July fourteenth is crossplay. That looks like Overwatch. Um, yes. Uh, it's a three. It's another hero shooter game. I'm interested. Oh, you got some cat audio there. Hopefully. Oh. Got a meow. Cat. One of my cats came and pawed me to pet her, so I'm have to pet her now for at least ten minutes. Um, <laughs> Lost in Random. I don't remember what this is. Uh, what was the game that was? that one gentleman that was the co-op game what was that called uh, oh it takes it takes two right which one remember the game with the uh the little girl makes um puppets because they're oh, her parents um, are getting a divorce isn't it it wasn't it takes two random no 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 no. it was like it takes a it takes two i think is what it's called uh, okay maybe that's what it was and it's a that's co-op where you play as like the dolls and you play through her emotions or something like that oh um, gotcha gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> but uh that looks cool uh mm-hmm. uh while alex looks up the original games i'm most excited about star wars squadrons star wars squadron comes out october 2nd and is crossplay. star wars squadron looks like a very um combat oriented uh space sim I guess fighter sim. What do you want to call it for Star Wars? Um, it looks very cool. Dog, it dog, looks it's like a dog fight. Yeah, it's dog fighting. Um, it's five v five. It looks very complicated. I'm very excited to not be great at this game. Um, it says so. Like on the surface level, it's just you. You know, you're a starfighter. You fight around and shoot things, and then you can get mm-hmm. as minute as powering up your frontal shields to brace yourself for an incoming attack. Your back shields to brace yourself for a uh, ba- uh, uh incoming attack from behind you can uh take your shields off and do a hundred percent boosts on your boosters to fly forward mm-hmm. and then turn them off and then do a complete 180 and shoot rockets you can get very straight up with this game and it sounds super exciting i went from not caring to a hundred percent buying this day one um yeah at first i was like oh i mean it looks cool because i've never been a dog fight war, like you know fighter person and we're you know, st- it, it looked cool we're still feeling the pains of battlefront 2 they did scream that there are no micro transactions in this game and it does not seem to be a quote-unquote living title it doesn't seem to be like that right now um mm. I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be a drop on and can play and then eventually they'll stop making this game i'm very curious on how this will play out um I don't know what you think about microtransactions, Alex. I don't care about the microtransactions as long as there's cosmetics no. only. And I feel like EA took the wrong message in this and stating, like, we're not doing any ever. That, it doesn't have to be a case. You can I, I don't mind spending money to look cool in a game. It just don't mm. only make it do things that make me look cool. Don't actually put an ability attached to it, which is the problem they had in Battlefront uh, 2, mm. which you could literally buy boxes and get better and and play online and be stronger by literally paying money what, yeah. do, what do you think am i am i a corporate apologist or, <laughs> I mean, or um, make sense? no i i don't mind micro transactions as long as they don't like go crazy with them to where like okay you have to do it and, and then make it to where like you can't enjoy the game right of course so other than that i mean mm, i mean I, I don't i don't what i don't mind if they're still there i just not don't make it excessive i say look at um, your own games ea mm-hmm. look at apex what do they do what do they do right right i do think ea uh, apex is a little overpriced when they come to their skins they're a little too expensive they're like 20 bucks a skin um for like the really nice ones but like just look at what they're doing everything's just skins so 
Let's just make them skins. Let's make these things look cool. But I will never complain about not having to spend money. So, mm-hmm. hey, I'll take it, I guess. Yeah. And then so, we had... Um, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, so, with Zoink... Is Zoink is the people make is the people who make the game. That's the one who made Zoink. is the one who made it uh lost and random. I got that mistaken. Got it. I thought it was a separate thing. It's the actual it's the publisher. And I see. Light is another publisher and that's the people you that you were correct. They made it they made it takes it two. It takes two. Got it. Cool. We we yeah. got that corrected. Um, um very exciting. Let's see. Yeah, it takes two. Is yeah, it says bring your it's a it's a co op partner. Yeah, it's a co op game. Cool. Very exciting yeah. for that. That looks cool, too. And most likely me and Alex will play it. Um, yeah, no. And then we had a whole AEA sports section. wasn't long at all. They hit on Madden for a little bit. Then they switched to something else. Then they ended. So I'm not even going to touch on it, to be honest with you. And then yeah. it ended. EA Sports added something else. It ended. And then it didn't end. It came mm-hmm. back. The original devs from Skate announces that they are making Skate 4. Um, they did not technically announce anything. They just said, we're making a skate. Yeah. And they, they so reiterated they, that yeah. this was you guys doing this, right? Comments made this happen. Tweets made this happen, right? Everyone mm-hmm. listening that tweeted out Skate 4 eventually, uh, you, hey, you had a part in making this a game. So they are bringing back Skate. Um, they yeah. have almost nothing to show. So I'm assuming this is super no. early. We're probably three years away from a skate game. But hey, we know there's yeah. one. Yeah, we brought it to life. It's it, someone. Someone had to do it. Alex, are yeah. you excited? Is this oh, fun? For sure, dude. Yeah. Um, they didn't say skate four, which I'm wondering. But I think I'm wondering it's... if they're doing like a uh, like if they're just adding it because they just they just said they're just making another the next skate, and I'm wondering if it's maybe like a kind of like a, a not a reboot, but just you know a, just a new. Hasn't just it been skate. like almost eight years since the skate game? Um, well, I'm a... skate. Skate 3 came out in 2010, so it was 10 years ago. Oh, Jesus, yes. 10 years ago, yeah. So I imagine maybe they just want to start fresh and call it just Skate again, which would be dope. Yeah. It'd be dope if it's just called Skate again. That's what I'm assuming it's going to be. I'm, I'm sorry, hold on. I'm saying just call it Skate, but I just said Skate again. That sounds like a cool title, too. Oh, yeah, Skate yeah, again. Skate again, just just Skate again. That sounds cool. Um, But, uh, yeah, I'm excited for, for whenever Skate is a thing. Um, oh, I can't wait, dude. Yeah, me me either. You know what else I can't wait for, Alex? But mm. I'm going to have to wait a little longer. This is over on Cyberpunk's Twitter. And I'm just going to read straight for them and try not to cry in the middle of this. So, okay. we have decided to move the launch of Cyberpunk 2077 from September 7th, <clears throat> 17th to no- <laughs> November 19th. Whew. Those of you who are familiar with... Sorry. Sorry, Alex. Give me a second. Oh, those of you who are familiar with the way we make games, though, we want to ship something which is not ready. And they just go on and on about, uh, this is the right thing we should do, blah, blah, blah. Um, at the time we were writing these words, Cyberpunk 27.7 is both finished content and gameplay-wise. The quests, the cutscenes, the skills, the items, all the adventures of Night City has to offer. It's all there. But there's such an abundance of content and complex systems interweaving with each other. We need to probably go through everything, balance game mechanics, and fix a lot of bugs. Huge world means a huge number of things to iron out. We will spend the additional time doing exactly that. Good for them, I guess. (laughs) This is the third time they've delayed this game. I'm very excited to eventually touch this. Uh, whenever it comes out, we still have yep. Night City Wire, which is due out the twenty fifth of. Uh, so that's next week. We will, uh, hopefully, Alex will be able to join me, but I will be doing a react for that. Uh, so I will be watching alongside everyone um, on Twitch and here, uh, mm-hmm. uh, if you want to tune in. Um, but yeah, we're getting another delay, unfortunately. But you know, blah blah, delays are good. Yeah. All those things. Very excited. Yeah. Alex, do you have anything to add to this? Um, I make. I mean, I'm. I can't wait to play the game, but uh, I honestly, I think I. There's so other stuff at the moment that I can just keep my head around to where I. I feel like this time will just fly by, and then we'll just see it right around the corner again. Yeah, I. I. I you know, I'm joking. I am fine with them delaying it. Um, yeah. I, I tweeted this out when I when I saw this this morning. It uh, fixed the issue I had with I wanted to play this on next gen consoles because <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, I'll have the sure. next gen by then. So yeah, 
So I'll be able to play this on one Series X or PS5, whatever my choice. Of course, Series X. Come on, but you know, yeah, I'll have a, ch- I'll have the choice to play it on my next gen at least. Um, most likely, I guess it could, in theory, not be on it, but highly doubt that. Mm. Um, because the the date was November nineteenth. Yes, for sure. Um, a lot of people are speculating if uh they have been hinted on the Series X debut, which would be September nineteenth. Sounds pretty right. Uh, because Mm. they've been buddy buddy for this game for a good bit so Mm. people are wondering if that is the series x release dates if that's kind of a hint because this will be a launch game with series x and a lot of theories been going around not you know these are theories not really i wouldn't say they're even rumors there's theories people are saying maybe cyberpunk is a game pass game and there's like a full-on like cooperation with with xbox with their game that'd be dope but I don't. I don't yeah. know if I'm attaching that much. I don't think they're in love that much. I think they're in a casual relationship, mm-hmm. not in love. Not in love. Sadly, Insomniac uh, took over the week. Uh, they they of course had that big success with announcing Spider-Man Miles Morales, um, and they've spent since that week uh, really explaining what the game is. Uh, and I, we got some information for you. So Insomniac says Spider-Man Miles Morales will be about half the length of the original. Um, this is over on The Verge. Insomniac Games has confirmed its upcoming PlayStation 5 launch title. Spider-Man Miles Morales will be about half the length of the original game. In a blog post published Thursday, creative director Brian Horton said the game would be roughly the size of 2017's Uncharted The Lost Legacy, which, since its release, has become an industry reference point for talking about the scope and length of a narrative expansion of the games. The Lost Legacy clocked in about 7 to 10 hours of playtime, um, according to data from HowLongToBeat.com, which can mean so many things under different circumstances, and was about half the size of the Uncharted game it was based on. Hmm. This game will also be a single title by itself. This is me talking. Um, most likely coming out of the launch PS5, like it's stated previous. This game will follow Miles a year after the first game. So this is a year after the first game. So he ha- he is, he's a little knowledgeable on how to fight crime, I guess we call it. Yes. Um, and this is very exciting. Uh, this yeah, is, yeah, I did. If you guys watched my reacts, you can uh, tell I was very excited about this game. Of my decibels raised very highly when I heard about this. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm I, this is probably my most look forward to game period. Really? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to rack my head right now. Um, Cyberpunk uh, is an unproven Assassin's quantity. Creed? Uh, yeah, that's the only thing that probably rivals Spider Man. Okay, all right, that's a good point. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I keep bringing them in. <sighs> Halo is also unproven now because I didn't particularly like five too much. Yeah, but maybe they can fix it. Hopefully they can. Too. Hey man, we're seeing gameplay next month. Oh, I can't wait. Hey, we'll all we'll be we'll watching talk it about together. next month to see if you're still in hey, which yeah, one's still excited for. That's true. But right now this is my most anticipated alongside Cyberpunk and Halo. Um those are like my top three right now. Hopefully mm-hmm. Halo's good. Hopefully. <laughs> Yeah. And really quick, we'll go into this Xbox Digital Direct replaces long redemption codes with a single click. Um, so there's a cool new feature that not mu- not a lot of people will utilize, but a good bit. Um, a new Xbox feature makes it easier to claim games that come with the console, doing away with the 25 digit codes that were required before. Digital Direct, pointed out by Polygon, embeds games and other DLC directly to the console that you can redeem during the setup process. Um, for those who are post setup, the feature can be found in accounts and my library section. When setting up a console, you will now see a page giving you the option to redeem content and service offers that come with it. According to the Xbox website, redeeming it as simply as clicking claim it, anything that's redeemed will be attached to the Microsoft account that claimed it. Alternatively, you can navigate to settings, the account then included with this Xbox to find a digital direct content available for your console and its redemption status. This information is also viewable in my library. Um, this is very cool. I like this. Uh, this yeah, is a little sure. weird when you get to games you own already. I'm curious on what they'll do with that. See, I'll, I'll be curious on because you can't really give away codes anymore, I'm assuming, because they'll be yeah. in your Xbox. Uh, but uh, you'll have them forever, I guess. I mean, you'll have the option, I assume, to gift to someone if you have it already, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was a quick thing I want to get into. That's cool. I Hopefully, they get into something that shortens the process of putting codes in. 
Um, oh my god, yeah. I yeah. hope so. If, 25 <clears throat> digits. Is, I, I know Alex whack me up on this. And it's dead now, of course. But when I had the connect and that QR code, that was the oh. easiest way to ever do any code. Yeah. Because it, it would get that thing that? instantly. Like you put that code to that thing instantly, you'd start. It start. It it would have grabbed it. So I miss those days. I miss the days of the connect. <laughs> I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, hey, surprisingly, mine is actually connected at this very moment. Oh God. I'm st- who, who, who Alex out calling the police because I'm pretty sure that's our like safe word for if someone's <laughs> got you at gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got no. the connect set it up. Oh my god! <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Battlefield Six will reportedly return to its modern day setting on PS5, Xbox Series X, and current gen consoles. Uh, this is brought to you by GamesRadar.com. Battlefield 6 will apparently take place in a modern day setting in a quote unquote direction not too dissimilar to 2011's Battlefield 3, according to new information from industry insider Tom Henderson. The rumor corroborated by games reporter Jeff Grubb. Um, I think we call him Jeff Grubby Grubb from Inside Joke that I don't remember. Uh, from Kind of Funny, I think. I don't even remember what it's from. Surf after Henderson responded to someone on Twitter praising Battlefield 3, teasing that they'll, quote, be a happy bunny next year, end quote. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> when Battlefield 6 is scheduled to release. I'm sorry, I just wasn't expecting. Be a happy bunny next year. Oh god! I wonder is it gonna come out in Easter? Is that? <laughs> hey man, uh, maybe. Okay. Anyway, Sanderson then followed up. Oh, that's another cat. I think you guys got another cat meow. That's a free meow. Meow. Um, uh, Henderson then followed up his tweet with the clarification that publisher EA or Battlefield developer Dice aren't working on a Battlefield Three or Master, but following up "quote unquote" setting and direction of that title for the next Battlefield game. <laughs> Battlefield 3 was set in the present day, focusing on a World War 3 style conflict between Russian and American forces, with the story continuing in Battlefield 4 before DICE returned to the early 20th century theater for Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5, respectively. Electronic Arts also already confirmed that Battlefield 6 will be launching on PS5 and Xbox Series X within the next two years, but this news of a return to modern day will no doubt come as music to the ears of Battlefield fans. Its present setting titles do make up the best Battlefield games after all. Agreed. Thank goodness. Agreed. Thank goodness. I yes. miss Battlefield 4. Yes, Battlefield 3 and 4, like, I remember there was a time where that's all I played, and I was getting good at it, and like after, and then 5 came out, and I'm like, oh, awesome. And then it was World War One. I. I was like, I don't mind World War One, But it just got, to me, it just got meh, because there's so many of those. Like, I mean, yes, there's so many modern like shooters yeah but it felt different like with yeah this one, it just felt the same yeah no i i understand what you mean by that um i was along i was among the people that wanted a world war ii battlefield game mm-hmm. um or a call of duty game and then i ended up getting both and realized i didn't want them particularly because yeah um it didn't seem like the developers wanted to make these games because they didn't seem very inspired and fun um mm-hmm. but uh i did like battlefield one's campaign i did not dig the online at all uh, same thing with um, Battlefield Five. Even though I barely touched that campaign, um, I, I did. Barely touched it. Yeah, I played like the beginning level and stopped. I think. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, hopefully, this is a return to form. Um, this yes. has been a while since I've had a Battlefield game that I liked, um, and I mean liked by like I spent time and had a great time and enjoyed the online as well. Um, mm-hmm. I re- enjoyed heavily Bad Company too, and that was probably I was say, I don't the know last why time. Do Bad Company. I don't know. I I don't know why they insist on not doing this game. Um, maybe some no. sort of maybe I made them angry and they just they said that not <laughs> enough's enough, no more yeah. bad company. Maybe I did something. I don't know. Moving on, Alex. I don't know mm-hmm. if you care about this because I don't think we've ever talked about this game, but I do. A new Pokemon Snap was announced during a Pokemon conference. Oh, and snap. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i did not mean to make that you say some gold and it just ca- it catches me off guard <laughs> pokemon snap oh snap if they if that isn't in the marketing somewhere i'm furious um i think it's technically called new pokemon snap is what it's called um if you don't know what pokemon snap is it was a nintendo 64 game that 
uh, was literally you took pictures of Pokemon and you were graded on how good the picture was. Uh, there were different mechanics you could do. Of course, you could throw a little fruits to incentivize them to come closer to you or do a specific action. Or you could, th- I think, throw things to like make them do something. I think they would attack something or something like that. But this looks really cool. It's added on of taking pictures and, again, the uh, better the picture, the m- more points that you'll eventually gather which is very nice um compounding all that to i think there's a leveling system i think um there's something to do with uh uh what's the word i'm looking for like um you're graded like like a b c things like that um which is really cool um there we go got you back alex oh give me a second guys Give me a sec. Give me a sec, guys. I gotta fix this because Alex can't hear me. There we go. There you go. There you go. So I told the audience that uh, that I saw the text was like, oh, let me see if I can fix that real quick. Yeah, I didn't know if it was me or you. So I, I, I don't like, know oh. either. Discord's been a little finicky today. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but uh, uh, I was talking and then got the text, and I was like, let me see if I can talk while fixing this, and I kind of did it. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, I was just going over Pokemon Snap, and the uh, I yeah. just went over the basic mechanics of Pokemon Snap. Did you enjoy Snap at all? Did you play this game before? I actually never played Snap. I've Whoa. Played yes, I, I have never played Snap, and I've heard people talk about it. Yeah, and I heard it's good. And there's another game I've never played, and you're gonna—I don't know—I feel like you love this game, Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah, Pokemon Coliseum is so good. I've never played this game. I liked Pokemon Stadium two more. Mm. I think it's the game I really played, but those Mm. were fun. Those were a lot of fun. Um, I—I don't want to hype up Snap too much because literally you're just taking pictures of Pokemon. So like, I don't want anyone to get too excited. Like, it's not—it's—it's not revolutionary. But it is, very, it is very, it is very, and yeah, it's more Pokemon if you're into that, which is exciting. Mm-hmm. That's really all from that. There was a, a couple other things announced for Pokemon. I'll go over real quick, and these are off the top of my head because I didn't write them down. Uh, Pokemon, mm. oh god damn it, um, brush, is, is that what it's called? Oh, you talking about that toothbrush yeah. thing? Yeah, Pokemon teeth, something like that. No, there's an cool. app that that pokemon Gosh. wants you to brush your teeth now so so the idea is for the little ones that don't necessarily like to brush the teeth you can incentivize them with a game and they'll smile. be brushing pokemon their smile. pokemon smile thank you that makes a lot more sense pokemon teeth <laughs> 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 you open your mouth and all of your teeth are pokemon um yeah. no but uh there's like a little game that goes on while you're videotaping i think yourself brushing your teeth I guess so. and you're you're hitting the plaque and it's telling you what teeth you should be brushing. It's really cool, honestly, if you have a child. Um, but you can play a game, and then at the end of the level, you get to capture the Pokemon that you were fighting the plaque with. Mm-hmm. So but, and, that was cute. And it's out, actually, right now. Yeah, no, it's it's out. It's free. Um, yeah. Alex, you have a child, so eventually you'll need this. Um, yep. You can introduce them to Pokemon and brushing their teeth at the same time. So um, I guess you're welcome. <laughs> uh this is um uh what i think that was for myself yeah try here you go uh alex is doing a live demo on pokemon smile right now um i can't um i think that was literally all that was like super important i remember they went over the expansion that's coming out for pokemon sword and shield that looks very interesting i'm gonna be upset what i've yeah i've yet to continue playing that game I get it. It's Pokemon. I, I want, no, it's, and you know, and I, I want to. You know, I keep going to. I keep going to my. Do you want to? I do. I'm being honest. <laughs> no, I, do. I, I sincerely actually do. I'm like, okay. I want to play this game because it looks cool, but like, I can never bring myself to do it, just because. I mean, my you know, my wife plays Animal Crossing. I'm like, eh, I don't want to take time from that, and I I rather her enjoy her time and like her, I watch her play than me do it and like I just I'm not feeling it right now well like, Pokemon I, I is such a known quantity right you know yeah. what you're getting so like you'll yeah. I'm assuming you, do you I mean this is a weird question but, but do you like I Pokemon don't. yes I do like Pokemon okay but I, it's just that 
I think it's because I played Pokemon like every year, like for so long. And then like the last one that I honestly I didn't like was Pokemon Sun and Moon. Oh, I did not like you those. didn't like those? Or well, no, I'm sorry. Uh, is that wait? Is that the one with uh, the ones that you're on the island and stuff? Yeah. The Alola one. Yeah. I didn't like that one. Oh, I love that one. I get yeah, it. I, tried I get it. Sun and I was like, I did not like this, so I gave it a break, and I just ever since then I just. I haven't gotten back, and I played an hour of this one, this this one, and I'm like, okay, I'm liking it, and then I stopped because more things came out. Uh huh. I feel like it's just gonna be another year before I even touch it again, but I'm gonna try my best because I just recently went back to something that I said I wouldn't. I, I keep going back to. Yeah, and speaking of what he's gone back to, very quickly, I did not write this down, but I'm going over the top of my head. Horizon mm-hmm. Zero Dawn, Forbidden West did announce a released year of 2021 so this isn't mm-hmm. a game we're getting this year but we are going to get it next year uh, yeah. that is important to note they did not for whatever reason state that in the conference so i'm not really sure why but but um, yeah. i'm assuming for some sort of advantage purposes to keep talking about this game but but yeah. that is what we know it is coming out next year that's kind of all they went over um and that's very exciting yeah. and alex speaking of horizon for mm-hmm. west you went to horizon one right Yes, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yes, I actually went back finally. Finally, um, this yeah. this is um, only it's took you what a year? <laughs> literally, I went to one of the the what are they called the campfires, and I quick saved. And I was like, you know what? Let me manual save because I also want to see how long it's been since I manual saved. The last time I manual saved was April 15, twenty nineteen. Nice. So that's nice. the last time I even played that game. And just so you so, guys know, this is a 2017 I, game. <laughs> Am I I'm sorry, 2016, I'm pretty sure. Um, look, okay. But uh, eventually, yeah. one day, we'll beat it. Now that I have Last of Us, I don't know if I'm going to touch it. Uh, but I you will not. <laughs> You're not I'll going to touch it. I'll go back after. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'm not holding my breath, but I am excited to see if you hey, actually look, end I up beating it. I did go back now, so I'm surprised that I actually went back. I, just, I wanted to play something, and I was like, what am I what do I want to play that I haven't finished or something that feels new? And I was like, you know, Horizon I never finished and it still feels new. Let's go back to that finally. So in, I did. in my head, I think um, I think of like, you're just thinking like, Alex, what have I been playing? <laughs> or, or like, you're like, what yes, am I playing? Exactly. <laughs> like, you're just asking yourself what the question. What should I play? What should I play? <laughs> I literally went through my Xbox list three times just to see if there was anything on the Xbox. Uh, like, and you mm-hmm. keep looking at it like something's new yep. is going to be added. And see, Bioshock 2 kept going back to me Ooh. just because I wanted I wanted the remaster. Bioshock 2, to... right? Infinite 2, right? Like Bioshock 2. Two. Well, 2 and Infinite because I okay. finished one remaster, but I haven't finished oh, two Oh, you haven't. Those are easy ass achievements too, man. Exactly. You got it. Exactly. You got it. So it's I, like it's like double double dipping. They're so good. And exactly. And it was like, you know, I wanted to go to that, but I wasn't feeling it. Mm, I, was I, like, I, I get it. Go. I get it. So I was like, you know what? Let me go to the PlayStation. I looked at Days Gone. I was like, mm-mm, too soon. And I was like, um, uh, and it, and it's by the way, it was crazy for me to even think about replaying the game. Um, yeah, Days Gone. Yeah, which I like it. I mean, I love that game. Surprisingly, I just like like I, I love driving the motorcycle. It's so fun. And um, but I saw Horizon. I was like, you know what? My the disc has been in my system for literally a year. Let's let's play this thing. <laughs> like it sits in my system. Oh God, I, I love that you're like, eh, you know what? Let's let's do this. I'm, and I'm excited. Funny, I actually went to almost went to Spider Man because I never finished the DLC. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I thought about going back to that. I don't know yet. I gotta play Last of Us first. Keep us updated, Alex. I will. Moving to Twitter, this is kind of like the segment we have for Twitter, but um, <laughs> it's actually related to news. Um, this is from Tom Warren. He is the senior editor, and this is just his tweet um, over on The Verge. Uh, I can confirm that the Xbox Series X dashboard will be the same as the Xbox One. Microsoft is adding some additional stuff in for the console features, but the UI and dash will be the same. Speed and performance will also be improved. I think it's a good thing that the Xbox uh, dashboard is aligned to Xbox One and Xbox Series X. There will be improvements in the coming months. And there's a new store app on the way. Things have been gradually improving on the dash and will continue to do so. So it doesn't look like we're getting a radically different UI or dashboard upgrade. Mm-hmm. But we are getting small improvements like we have been over the course of this entire generation, I'd say. Give me a snap. <sighs> do, you, uh, do, you, do you think they'll actually do it? 
Do you think no. we'll actually get a snap again? No. No, I don't think so either. But I, I hope one day we, someone like we should do snap, and then they're like, sure, why not? Yeah, I just, I, I wish. I mean, I could be like, you know, because that's such a big thing in Windows computers, super like you can window picture and picture window and all that stuff together. Like when I mean, you had it on the Xbox, and I mean, I guess it wasn't used right from enough people, I guess. But I mean, I liked it, so why not? Re- and. I and I don't I don't even know I I want it back and yeah. if I'm being honest, first world problem like to the tenth degree because it, I can literally just grab my iPad and, and I've been doing this oh, for and sure. just play something, but you know I like to bitch about things. Let me let no, me have this. Yeah, let me complain about an Xbox I feature that hasn't been here in years. Okay. Yeah, really, really, the only thing I would use it for would be uh, have my achievement list out and just leave it there and play the game. I'm like, okay, what's the next achievement I want to? I do? need to schedule an episode with all with you, me, and Snowbike Mike, and we need to just oh, bitch gosh. about Xbox and say what we need again, and oh, um, we we'll all get drunk and just bitch <laughs> like old <Yep>. housewives. <laughs> oh god, that sounds fun. This is sticking with Tom Warren. We're just weeks away from seeing Halo Infinite. Good reminder that the Halo team is using original Xbox consoles to record the electronic magnetic fields emitting from them to create sound effects in Halo Infinite. That's pretty cool. I'm not joking with anyone. They have special There's sensors that senses electric magnetic fields. This can be found on his Twitter. It's Tom Warren again, at Tom Warren. There's a special device that senses the electro, electrical magnetic fields that are emanating from the original Xbox and One S's and all these things, and they are moving it around and getting different sounds from different things that the game is doing. So I'm, I'm not gonna lie, there was at some point where it, like they were doing it and it sounded like the the the, the shield like charging yeah. back. You could for sure like, be like, oh, that was the shield. Like yeah. you like you could you can 100 percent tell that this is cool. Who thought of this? <laughs> I do. Who so went? Was really bored. I who would? You know what? I need sounds for Halo Infinite. I want them revamped. What can we do? Well, I got these electromagnetic field field sensors. Why don't I convert this into music? Okay. <laughs> I like to just imagine if I work at three four three, just walking by, I see somebody with a fucking Xbox original grabbing <laughs> the sensors and going, wah, wah, and I'm walking by. I'm like, what? Yeah. For, do for All sure right. it, it is very strange because because they're like purple they're about the size of a hand and they're just moving it around yeah. and it it look, like they look like ultra, aliens like <laughs> a big ultraviolet like brick like in your hand you're just holding on the xbox and just moving it around it, it looks like aliens just like discovered an xbox and are trying to figure out what the purpose was and they're making yep. sure that it's not radioactive or something <laughs> it's <laughs> very much. funny uh <laughs> uh sticking with systems playstation 5 is customizable um this awesome. is straight off of ign.com via the verge though um playstation 5 is customizable playstation vp of uh design matt mclaren it revealed McLaren. mclaren is it mclaren i guess it is mclaren 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 it's revealed the, the ps plan. the ps5 is quote customizable in ways previous gens weren't there will be special edition for everyone end quote meaning what nothing that was a nothing statement that really gave us nothing to go on <laughs> well my thing is like for example Will like you know how there's themes for the dash, right? Uh, will there be? Don't don't get my hopes up with whatever you're about to say, because I think I know what you're about to say. But go ahead. Like let's say the themes that you have on the system. Uh huh. The light bars on the oh, controller yeah. and the in the system oh, yeah. will match your thing. So for example, like that picture of Spider Man. Yeah. Let's say you have a Spider Man theme on. And then the the red bars it'll change to red. I don't know yes. about the logo, but like the light bars will change. Yes, dude, that'd be cool. That would be cool. I think most people jump to like, oh, I can take off that tower looking part. You, the, but the, I don't the think that's yeah. I don't think you'll be able to take like panels. Nothing. Th- I don't think of it off. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we're getting anywhere close to that. Mm-mm. Honestly, I think he's just being kind of coy and being like, "Oh, you can customize it with like stickers or something." I don't know, but I don't. I'm not gonna read too much into this. Um, 
I think there'll be special editions, of course. Um, mm-hmm. Is it going to be customizable? I frankly doubt it, but maybe. I'll, how about I'll call it the light bars on the system you'll be able to change. I hope like, there'll so. Be a, there'll, there'll be a, a significant like colors wheel or like a set. That That'll you be cool because that would satisfy my RGB craving. Exactly. Because um, I love just changing colors on things. So mm-hmm. hopefully that is something that's true and, and something I can actually do and substantially change. Because that mm-hmm. does sound exciting. Like I do want to that, do that. Yeah. Because I mean they can use the same equipment that uh, like, you know, all the RGB uh, com- PC components use right that change color like the alien wares and the keyboards and stuff like that like they use that you can just put it that in and you can have a, like a, a set of color wheel and just change it uh-huh That'd now be cool. this is where we wind down the show but i have a new segment to give to you oh goodness i did not prep you beforehand so hopefully you can change it up on the spot oh. it's really a, an evolved segment honestly okay but it's what's queued what is queued up on the system what's the next thing you're playing this is a lame week because we're both just gonna say last of us part two (laughs) but that will be the new segment you guys can write into what's queued for you guys and we'll read it for you um you can give us reasonings on what you're playing and why but figured the segment can be called what's queued what's queued up on the system what's ready to play what's something that you can do Last of Us Part 2, of course, is for us, and I am very excited. Sure. Very excited for this next week because, I mean, Last of Us Part 2 is going to give us content on content. We're going to be talking. I'm, I really do oh, feel yeah. like we're going to be talking about this game for the next year, playing this probably. For, I feel like I'm going to be playing this game nonstop for the next two weeks. Um, I think I will finish this game in most likely three days. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, good old boy here has a week off, don't you? I do. I do. I have a full week off, so... Um, I have to. I have the time. Um, it's like that. Fa- it's like the uh, Twilight Zone episode where I finally have time <laughs> because everyone was killed. That was a weird Twilight Zone episode. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. I have time, but like at certain times of the day. Yeah, yeah. As you, you strategize it, you'll figure it out. But oh, yeah. tune in to us for a spoiler cast for as soon as we beat it. The game is roughly twenty six hours in length. Um, of course, we need time to beat it. Uh, as soon as we beat it, we'll get it to you as soon as possible. For um, sure, for I am sure. very, very excited for this. Um, oh yeah, it, this seems to be the this seems to be an uncomfortable game, and it's, it's, we let's mu- just say it's real. Let's, let's say it's it's like real on your emotions. That and um, it, it seems to be hard to give it a rate that that too. I'm sure it would be hard for some people to play. But yeah. it seems to be a game that is hard to re- review in quotes, right? Okay. Like okay. as a piece of art that is uh, alive. Um, I heard an apt. I heard a very telling comparison from again Greg Miller because that's all I listened to. But he gave an example of the Joker movie, correct? Right? You've seen the Joker movie, right, Alex? Yes, 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 yes. If you don't know what the Joker movie is, it's the Joker from DC Comics. It follows his. Uh, birth of becoming the joker right you can imagine how unpleasant and uncomfortable that is it's a rated r movie it is very yes. sad and not fun yes. We're it talking is about the Joaquin phoenix one correct yes yes, yes. okay make sure. and this that that was compared to this right you don't necessarily right you watch joker i would never say like oh that was fun right that wasn't a fun movie yeah. right i wouldn't say joker was my favorite movie right it's not something we, i'm going to rewatch over and over again because it's you know very uncomfortable, but no, for sure. it, but it, it invokes like, emotions mm-hmm. that are important, and I'm very excited because in games we very rarely get conversations like that. Yes, and I'm very excited to see how people handle this game, and um, interested to see opinions. I'm gonna be reading about opinions weeks to come, and I'm very excited. And, and see, I, I I enjoy games that do this, that get your emotions on a high. Because then I feel like that I don't connect with the game and or what they're trying to do, and in, like with games, TV shows, movies, like anything, like I'm so like I like I, I hope like I hope when we play this game that I, like I get some point of emotion 
like to where like I'm not just playing the game. You know, I actually feel for them stuff because I, I I like getting that out of out of content. I I'm not speaking on uh, what I think yet. Again, I haven't played this game, so I can't even spoil it. But mm-hmm. it seems like we're going to rethink our idea of death in a video game which is very fun right yeah no, we'll, for sure. i'll go back i'll I'm sure we'll go into all this and spoil guys but i'm very excited if i i sat there and thought the other day mm. how many quote-unquote people have i killed in a video game right mm-hmm. thousands ten thousands right probably tens oh, of sure. thousands like, of like, un, like yeah no it's un, random com, you know yeah but in last of us i feel death more right i feel like mm. i you know it's more consequential and if you can make me feel death in a video game i think that's very powerful and i'm very excited no, to play true. this because i've played games where i straight up the, the, there's a death counter i killed a thousand people but eventually killing a person loses a meaning and i like that last of us is is giving us Hey, you killed a person. Oh, sure. Like you have to live with. Hey, that person's now dead. And of course, it's all fiction. None of this is actually happening. No, no, for sure. But I'm like, you have to me. now think about. Hey, I killed a person. That person's now dead in this world. That person had a family. There's one of those things in the game that um, when you shoot the dog, because there's oh dogs God. you can kill in this. Oh. The owner will yell its name, and yeah, that evokes it, I, a reaction and, a, and an oh. emotion. And I'm very. Oh, I'm just. I've it's I've not been this excited for a game mainly even a piece of art in a very long time and this will invoke mm. such specific emotions and it's going to mm. be sad and I'm I've never been excited to be sad. <laughs> no, for sure. I mean, I'm I've I was watching a show on Netflix a, a couple of days ago. I just finished it. It was the Thirteen Reasons Why. Oh, and the it was the last season and like mm-hmm. that show it's so emotional like it got it got me on the last one dude right and i'm like i was thinking about last of us and i'm like my emotions are like high right now like am i ready for this yeah and you're gonna be on a completely different perspective right oh for you're sure. gonna I mean, be I'm... more of joel than i am right you're gonna yeah, be I am you're gonna be a joel now. you're a father so you're gonna have that specific emotion that i'm not gonna have so you're gonna be a completely um, new perspective i won't understand that's very exciting yeah, it, to me. it is crazy because i actually didn't tell you i uh, went back you have another child watch... oh. Oh, no <laughs> <laughs> not yet <laughs> um i was watching because uh, like you just said we all we watch is kind of funny they're yeah. uh, they're, uh, they're awesome yeah um, i was watching nick scarpino play last of us for the first time ah that was fun the very beginning for anybody who hasn't played last of us i mean I, it's been a, it's been so long i mean you should play it right yeah, now please play it. um the very beginning with what happens with his daughter i started bawling it's hard um i like even like the i mean like the first time i played the the game myself like i teared up you know i was pretty sad but i didn't get as sad as i was as i was just like like the other day because i i looked at my i looked at my daughter and i looked i'm like i just started bawling mm. dude like i don't know why am i am my wife she's like are you okay and she's like <laughs> i was like yeah no it, it, it was it was that was that was hard yeah, I mean, again, you understand a different a different no, yeah, thing so, than I do now. So I'm very excited to experience this game. Yeah, and to, no, I'm excited too. And I and on to and to end this episode, I am excited to be sad. Go play this game. Go get it tomorrow. Go get it. Go get it. Please, please, please get a PlayStation if you have it. Morning. Um, if you if you're not getting it, then do yourself the service and try to avoid spoilers. I know it's gonna be really hard. But uh, mm-hmm. try and, and see if you can experience in some way, maybe with a friend or or through a, your favorite Let's Player. Mm-hmm. And on that yeah, note, Alex, sure, sure. thank you for sitting down with me, even virtually. It's good to have you company on these uh, podcasts. Yes. Remember. It's good on, at these times. Oh, of course, of course. And remember, you can check us out every single Friday on every single free feed of imaginable. If we're not on one, please let us know. YouTube podcast service of your choice soundcloud spotify all these things you can go over you can give us a listen you can give us the watch time that helps our analytics tremendously likes comments these all help tremendously please leave them give us feedback questions comments concerns thoughts and ideas can all be directed to you guessed it patreon.com slash cg achievers you can give us a dollar all feedback and questions will be heard there primarily but if you want a new free way to do it, of course, you can tweet at us at any time of the day at EVM9000 at Gravy Flip Skater. 
thank you so much for listening. Go achieve. Go achieve.